The cocktail sort algorithm, also known as the cocktail shaker sort algorithm or bidirectional bubble sort algorithm, is an algorithm that alternates between left to right and right to left passes of bubble sort. I'll write the code for cocktail sort by combining the left to right and right to left versions of bubble sort and show how that makes up for one of the weaknesses of bubble sort. I'll also show what happens if the input's already sorted, almost sorted, or reversed. The cocktail sort algorithm alternates between left to right and right to left passes of bubble sort. The question is, why would you want to do that? And the reason is, it solves a problem with bubble sort where certain elements can only move slowly. To show you what I mean, I'm going to go over some examples of how bubble sort behaves. So this is the ordinary bubble sort and a list of 64 elements that are already sorted. It just goes through and in a single pass figures out that it's already sorted. Now that couldn't be much better because it's done no swaps and it's done the minimum number of comparisons that will be required to figure out that the thing is already sorted. But what happens if I introduce a large element at the beginning of this array. The large element is going to move very quickly over to the right in one pass and then the next pass figures out that it's already sorted. So by introducing that large element we added one extra pass. But what happens if I introduce a small element on the right? Each pass, the small element, moves one step to the left. So now we have to go through all 64 passes to sort the list. So what can we do about that? Well, let's try the right to left bubble sort algorithm. This time, the small element moves very quickly from right to left in the first pass. And then the second pass, it figures out that it's sorted. So it only takes two passes to sort that list. But what happens if I introduce a large element on the left? Now it has to go through every pass because in the right to left bubble sort algorithm, the large elements can only move to the right one element per pass. So if you only do left to right passes, a small element on the right is slow. And if you want to do right to left passes, a large element on the left is slow. So what do you think will happen if we alternate between left to right and right to left passes of bubble sort? To find out, I'm going to have to write the code for cocktail sort. I'm going to start with the refactored version of left to right bubble sort from the right to left bubble sort video. And then I'm going to take the inner loop of the code from the right to left bubble sort and copy and paste that into it. So if I copy this and then paste it in here, now this has gone red because the variable last swap has already been defined up here. So I just want to reuse it rather than redefining it. And the same for the variable i here. Now let's run that and see what happens. Now that looks like it's sorted the list, but there is a problem. So we're doing a right to left pass here, and then we'll finish that. There's still one element that hasn't been marked as sorted. Then I do a left to right pass, which marks that as sorted. And at that point we should be done, but I'm going on to do another right to left pass and that's gone off the rails. So what I need to be able to do is terminate the algorithm if it's already sorted after the left to right pass without going on to do a right to left pass. All 
All right, let's try that again. And that's the cocktail sort algorithm, or the cocktail shaker sort algorithm, or the shaker sort algorithm, or the bidirectional bubble sort algorithm. I am going to tidy it up a little bit though. See right here, we assign last swap to pass right. And then just afterwards, we assign pass right to last swap. So this second one is pretty redundant because it should already have the same value. So I can remove that line. And the thing is, a similar thing happens at the bottom of the loop where we assign last swap to pass left. And then when we come around again, we assign pass left to last swap. So what I'm going to do there is move last swap outside of the loop. And that still works fine. I haven't broken anything. So what does the cocktail sort algorithm do if the list is already sorted? Well, it does one pass of left to right bubble sort and figures out it's already sorted, which is exactly the same as normal bubble sort, which is in fact optimal. So what happens if I put a large item on the left? The first pass moves the large item all the way over to the right very quickly. And then a right to left pass determines that it's already sorted and we're done. So what happens if I put a small element on the right? On the first pass, which is a left to right pass, the small element only moves one to the left. But the second pass, which is a right to left pass, brings the small element all the way down to the bottom. Then the final left to right pass figures out that we're done. What if I put a large element on the left and a small element on the right? The first pass brings the large element all the way over to the right. The second pass brings the small element all the way over to the left. And the third pass figures out that the list is sorted. All of these cases can be handled in a few passes without triggering the worst case behavior. But what happens if the list's reversed? I mean, it looks cool. That one might be my favorite. It, it's kind of mesmerizing. Unfortunately, the reverse case is still a worse case, even for cocktail sort. By the way, if you're finding this helpful, I'd appreciate it if you press the like button. Before I show you what cocktail sort does in the almost sorted case, I want to remind you what bubble sort does in the almost sorted case. I think that took about 17 passes. And now cocktail sort. Let's see that again. So in that case, cocktail sorts much faster. Pass one, pass two, pass three, pass four, and then pass five figures out it's already done. There's another sorting algorithm that's similar to the cocktail sort algorithm, but instead of doing a whole pass left and then a whole pass right, it goes left if it swapped and right if it didn't. And if you want to know more, check out my video on gnome sort, which is also on a playlist with all my other sorting algorithms videos.